you want to enter a field where you're going to be constantly challenged and constantly growing and questioning, music is a great field. This is not a problem at all. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. You know, you have to put yourself in a vulnerable position to share to an open audience. Look at the way I've come through this. Look how my hand doesn't shake. Make yourself as full of a package as possible. They say love every part of your job. I I schedule all my own airplane tickets, I'm my own manager, I'm constantly knocking on doors and sending emails and trying to get auditions. In the meantime, you have to keep practicing and, and growing and doing different things and making more networks and making your product as good as it can be. Like I said, I'm traveling the world, I'm meeting, I played basketball two summers ago with David Daniels, who is the world's most famous countertenor, and I had coffee with Joyce Donato, who is the world's leading foremost mezzo-soprano and down to earth as all get out. The first professional opera I ever saw was the one that I was in, and went to Austria for two months to sing a festival and sang for German agents and um, actually, Andrea Huber is now in charge of that program. She's a Wesleyan alum. Had the fortune to work at Utah Opera. It's kind of like an internship, apprenticeship. I worked for nine months as their solo me soul mezzo, and I covered three roles. I sang two, I soloed with the symphony three times, and I went from there to Santa Fe Opera and sang as a young artist. And then this last year, I've been independent contractor, working as a um, professional singer, as a principal artist, um, learning more aspects about teaching, uh, I have a one-woman show that's premiering actually here in Bloomington next October and uh, it's crazy to think that just four and a half years ago I had no idea that this is where my life was going to be going. Just wait till I tell mama 